Mortgage Note Investing 101. So let's start by understanding the documents. What is a mortgage and what is a note? So a mortgage, also called the security instrument, is essentially the publicly recorded document that connects the debt with the collateral or the property that secures that debt. This is what is called creating a lien against a property when a mortgage is recorded into the public records of the local county. The note, on the other hand, is not recorded in public records, and this is the promise to pay. It's also called the promissory note, and essentially details the terms of repayment between the borrower and the lender. The AOM, or assignment of mortgage, also publicly recorded in the county records, transfers a mortgage from one lender to another lender. Whereas the allonge or the endorsement of the note transfers the promise to pay, the promissory note from one lender to another. And that is not recorded in the public records. So when we talk about investing in debt, what does that actually mean? So investing in debt essentially means participating in the secondary mortgage market. Now, secondary does not refer to junior liens or second position mortgages. The secondary mortgage market is all of the transfers and sales of a loan after the origination process. So when we participate in the secondary mortgage market by buying debt, we become the lender, we become the bank. So on this show, we often talk about non-performing loans. And I wanna explain the charge-off process, which results in the secondary market sales of non-performing or defaulted loans. So the big banks that originate these loans often run into trouble where they're not collecting payments anymore. These borrowers have defaulted. And when there is a very high rate of default, they often do not have the capacity to foreclose on all of these non-performing loans. So what they do instead is called a charge-off. And a charge-off essentially writes the loan off of their books and allows them to then take an accounting loss on the, on the debt that's being charged off and then resell that loan into the secondary mortgage market. Now, it's still collectible, it's still a lien secured by the property, but it is no longer on the bank's balance sheet as a collectible debt. Now, once it is transferred, of course, the loan is still collectible, but the charge-off process essentially allows the bank to have an accounting um, relief on the amount of money that they lent in the first place. So next, let's talk about reperforming loans or RPLs, which just means cash flowing loans. Now, reperforming, we call it that because it's not performing. This is a loan that went non performing and then became reperforming. And this is important to understand because a performing loan that's been paying as agreed for the full life cycle of the loan, the bank never had a default on the account, it's just paying as agreed. Those loans rarely go into the secondary mortgage market as we see it. Now they are transferred in these big securitized packages from one institution to another institution, but the cash flowing loans that we see as smaller investors in this space are often non-performing loans that investors or hedge funds have rehabilitated. We've worked with the borrower to get them from a default status back to a modified loan, for example, that is now current. So re-performing loans where investors buy these cash flowing debts to earn between 10 and maybe 14% annual returns are transferred on the market as these RPLs. And then finally, if you want to learn more about this exciting, lucrative secondary mortgage market, you can check out our website for our free course, How to Invest in Mortgage Notes. There's a ton of great content in this course that is entirely free to review. So I'd highly re recommend that you check that out if you are intrigued by the secondary mortgage market and becoming the bank. All right, see you in the next video.